Welcome back to YouTubers to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 14 The Show here on the PS4. And this is Road to the Show with Theo Bonds. This is episode 74. And there you see both squads 5 and 4 for the season as the Tigers are hosting the Cleveland Indians here today in this episode. It's a three game series here, and whoever can be dominant in this series will have control here of the AL Central division so there you see the standings right there as I just mentioned here not too long ago and there you see the twins uh, five and five along with the Royals there so they're tied in third and there you see they're only a half a game behind both of us and then the White Sox of course there you see them three and five in a believe it yeah a game and a half behind uh, the Indians and Tigers so uh, we're going to head out to the ballpark here in just a bit but there you see also, too, if you look at uh, the far right-hand side, last 10 games, 5-4 and four for both squads there. Uh, so, we'll see here who's going to be f uh, at 500 like the Twins are currently right now, uh, the last 10. We'll see here that we got the lineup there. And, of course, Bonds batting third there. You see hitting 289 there for this season here. And we'll see what he can do here in today's game. Now, in the last game, so he hit two home runs and three RBIs. And won that game 7 to nothing there against the Astros there at home. So we're at home again still. And we'll see here where we're going to have to do here against this uh, red hot Indian team that's playing really good baseball right now. And you see their lineup there. And of course, we uh, have a pretty good lineup ourselves. And hopefully, that can get going here early for us. And along with the pitching, uh, and that's of course one thing we're worried about right now is. Uh, Serger's not playing the best uh, that he's uh, we're known, you know, that he's known of, and uh, so we just gotta really hope we can uh, score a lot more runs here. So bottom of the first here, we're trailing by one, one out, runner on first, and we'll see. This is gonna be a dribble right here, an easy routine play there to first. That gets Bonds out there, and that will retire him at his first at bat. So he'll get five points for that five pitch of five pitch at bat there he just had. So top of the second here to. Uh, 2-2 two, two, pitch, two outs, and we'll see here a little glove action there from Bonds as he gets in there. And he gets that ball into first there and gets the last out there to end the that top half of the second, or bottom half of the, or top half of the second. So now top of the, or bottom of the fourth here, this one's going high. This one's going deep. We'll see if this one's going to go over the wall, and it does. Home run right there for Mr. Theo Bonds, there you see his 99th career home run here in this ball game, and right there, that's going to put them get on the board. Continue putting on more runs on the board there, as we'll see here in the replay, and what a great hit that was right there for his 99th. Of course, uh, he's just one away from hitting his 100th. Hey, oh, not to mention, excuse me, not to mention, uh, he's about another. 600 and so uh, before he can catch up with his cousin there, uh, the home run, current home run king, Barry Bonds. So now bottom of the six here, bases are empty, and there's nobody out. And there you see here, this one's going to go high. This one's going to get caught right there by Michael Boyne out there in deep center field there. And that will be a long out there. As you see the cat or the pitcher's relief uh, that, that did not go over the wall that time. So we'll see here. What he can do here in his next at bat here, bottom of the eighth, tied one all with one out, nobody on board. And we'll see here, this is going to be a high ball. This one's going to go right to the right uh, left fielder there, and that will right there in Bonds' day there. As we'll see here, we're tied uh, here late in the ball game at one all here. Uh, so we'll go to the tenth now, play some extra frames here. Bo uh, see, bottom of the tenth here, we're down by a run. Got a runner at second here, and Bonds goes after that slider, and that slider gets in on him, and he cannot get that one as Axford does a great job there keeping Bonds off the base pass and making sure that ball stays in the yard there. So now bottom of the 12th here, tied 2-2 now, and runner at first, and that slider again, this time going out of the end zone, or out of the zone there, and uh, sliding, uh, just barely nicking the plate there. We'll see here that the Tigers win this one 4-2 final score. Bonds 1-6 for six for the day, a run, a home run, and RBI. So now we go ahead and get to the next game here. 
and we'll see here in this ball game that uh, we'll see Bonds here come out the bat. He has four home runs, eight RBIs here for him, and we'll see what he can do here. Uh, he's only, like I said, one home run away from hitting his 100, so two outs, nobody on board. That one going right there to the second baseman right there, and that's going to be an easy play right there as Bonds gets thrown out there at first again on that routine play from the second baseman. So now bottom of third here, nobody's on board. Two outs here, 1-1 one, one pitch, and this is another dribble right there to the second baseman who makes a nice play right there and uh, just uh, helping Kipnis out there at second there, just giving him a workout here. And really not doing any kind of damage here to the scoreboard. So now up by one here, bottom of the fifth. We'll see here. This one's going high. This one's going a little deep. And could this be a two-run shot? It is. That's a two-run shot there for Bonds. And he'll get his 100th home run of the season as they now lead it. Now 3-0 here in this ball game. You see the coach and everyone else are very happy that they're, they're uh, well, pretty much their RBI guy has hit his 100th career here, and this is only his third season here in the major. So we'll take a look here, and nice swing right there as Bonds connects on that one. Nice follow through and putting that ball in an orbit right there and out of the ballpark. So nice souvenir for the fans out there. And there you see him getting high fives from everybody there, hitting his 100th home run. This is one thing I love about uh it will be the show. They show these little moments like this that uh, you know you get a you, you know you could you see uh, if you ever been to a ball game before. So here we are up by three here top or bottom of the seventh here. Nice play right there on Bonds as they get able to get him out there and in the inning there. So uh, just a great game so far here for the Tigers as they win this one three to one right there. Justin Verlander gets his first win of the year. Justin Mas Masterson. Gets his first loss of the season, and the Tigers win that one, three to one. The final score there, and of course Bonds gets his hundredth career home run. He'll get 500 points for that, and then uh, his hitting streak, a modest hitting streak of five uh, games there, he'll get 20 right there. So that's going to be really helpful for his attributes here, as we see him going against Cody Allen here in the last game of the series here, and we'll see what he can do here against Allen. I see Allen's numbers right there. Only two innings of work there. One hit and one strikeout. And we'll see here what he can do against here the power hitter, Bonds. So there you see Bonds getting some last-minute instructions here from his manager to see what he needs to do to be able to uh, get a lead here for this ball club. And you see him come to the plate. So now down by, like I said, down by run. And, oh, yeah, not a good one. Not what you want to do when coming off the bench there. As a pitch hitter, and that's going to be a strikeout right there. So nice job there from Allen, who does his work there. And we'll see here the Tigers will win this one, three to two final score there. Sajar gets his first, or he gets the second win of the year. Lowell gets uh, his uh, set, first uh, loss of the season there. And we'll take a look here at the attribute points that we have. We have 683 points, and we're going to try to sp uh, spread these out as much as possible. But put some uh, points on some clutch. Hitting here that we just want to be a, a better clutch hitter. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it looks like uh, plate discipline, but overall, just uh, you know, a great series there as we win two out of the three there. So that should put us in a good spot there uh, here in the Central Division. Uh, but uh, going back to what I was saying about the uh, just the little moments here in um, MLB the show, I, I just really love it how they put those little moments like that. Um, for the players because those are special moments. Those are iconic moments that a lot of players can remember hitting their 100th or, uh, you know, or getting, uh, you know, setting a record and stuff like that for their team. And I'm kind of glad they really used that. Uh, they put that in the game. Uh, I know in 15 they've, uh, you know, increased that even more and uh, really did a great job there of showing off uh, what, you know, what happens during – uh, celebration wise when you know during a game and stuff so we'll take a look here Royals actually leapfrog us so uh, they actually now on a six game winning streak wow uh, there you see the uh, last ten games they're seven and three there and their current record is eight and five there so we'll get ready to play against them here uh, pretty soon here later on 
But we got the New York Yankees coming up here to finish up our uh, homestand. And they are, uh, I believe, I think, I think, we, I, I can't remember if I added that in the footage or not. Uh, apparently I didn't. Uh, but I think they believe, if I'm correct, I think they're maybe even third or fourth in the division. Um, don't quote me on that. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the last time I remember reading what they were. Uh, so they're not playing really good baseball right now. We need to kind of take advantage of that. But there you see uh, Bonds there. You see the ERA. Or is that not ERA? His uh, batting average there. And, of course, we'll look at his league leaders when it comes to hits. And we'll see where he's at. And he must be really down here. As, yep, he only has 13 at-bats there. And then, of course, we'll take a look at home runs. He has five right there. He's tied in fourth. And there you see he only, he's only three behind Prince Fielder there. And only uh, one behind Chris Davis. So, uh, he's, like I said, good company there. Can't uh, ask much, any much more than that. But we'll see here. Uh, like I said... Having a good year here. Have a little bit of a slow start here, but he has five home runs, ten RBIs. Uh, I think he's going to pick up some here uh, very, very soon. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, I want to add a note, too, that we'll be eventually moving uh, Theo over to MLB 15, the show here, and a couple more episodes. I think I got about another, let's see, one, two, three, four... Five more episodes he'll be... If I have five more episodes. So after this, it'll be five more episodes. And then we'll move him over to MLB 15. I want to get this first month of the season here on this game. And then we'll move over to 15. So we'll take a look here. Like I said, they've got the uh, Yankees coming in town. We'll have three games against them as a weekend series. And hopefully uh, win that one. And uh, get ourselves here in the driver's position here in the central. So if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGNet. Not to mention, you guys can follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves and your children healthy, and I will see you guys next time.